Hey everyone, here are five simple settings that will make the users of your web apps pretty dang happy. First, turn on the My Location widget. This allows users to see their location as a blue dot in your map. It's such a crowd pleaser for sure. Who doesn't want to see themselves in relation to the map data? Turn this on by clicking into the widget tab and then clicking the eye in the upper right hand corner of the My Location button. Second, set the home extent of the map view to the best position possible for the story you're telling. This small setting provides a very clean startup visual. For me, I want the entire Western US to be visible because I'm telling a story of Western US wildfires. Set the home extent by clicking into the map tab and then clicking use current map view. Third, turn on the map coordinate display from the widgets tab, another simple setting with a huge impact. This allows users to view coordinates as they hover the mouse over the map. As you can see though, by default, it shows an X, Y view, which is actually longitude and then latitude. If you want to change this because reading latitude longitude is more standard for many agencies, go into the settings and then choose the latitude by longitude option. Fourth, turn off the app state button from the attribute tab. Keeping this on means the map extent and layer visibility will attempt to be maintained when the user exits the map. If you don't want the web app to bog down the system while it's in the background, or constantly send messages in the lower right-hand corner about the app state when the user returns to the web app, then definitely turn this off. Finally, configure the search widget. Allowing for users to search by specific locations allows the user to personalize their experience. You can leave the world geocoder available, but I highly recommend customizing the search function to include data-specific variables. For example, I would choose to add wildfire points layer, and then I would allow for users to search by both fire name and fire ID. Even if you're making a simple map application, doing these five things will help turn an average application into an interactive superstar. If you learned something, please like our video below and be sure to subscribe to our channel.